Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Trains with Shane, and you are joining us on another Disgusting Workbench product review. So what we've got here is a Broadway Limited Premium End Scale EMD F3 unit in MKT colors with Paragon 4 DCC and sound. I picked this up off of their website. It was sold as refurbished. So it was sold at a discount. Honestly, guys, if you are not afraid of Broadway Limited, go over and check their website out. There are some good deals to be had here. I paid less for this than you would pay for a normal Atlas with DCC. Um, sound notwithstanding, of course. So there's a, a lot of good deals to be had over there, in fact. This one was Missouri, Kansas, Texas, so I couldn't resist. I just, I had it over there on a whim and saw this and had to have it. You guys know how I get sometimes. So, in theory, this shouldn't be a will it run, air quotes, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. This was sold as a factory refurb, so it should run. This, uh came like this, this little case damage here. There were no visible signs of damage or anything to the shipping box, so I'm guessing this happened. I don't know, maybe they refurbished them by tossing them across the room. Who knows? So we've got our standard BLI sleeve here, cardboard insert. There's our manufacturer date on the unit. See if we can abscond this out of here without too much difficulty. There we are. Set that down, make sure there's nothing else in here. Desiccate packet, don't eat. Yeah, typical BLI, sturdy foam and plastic container. Very lightweight plastic sheet. Uh, I know Bachman uses something similar. It seems to work out pretty well. And here's our subject matter for today. A uh, spotting feature for an F3 over an F7 or something. For me, it's always easiest to look for the raised radiator grills here. Got our horns. Pretty weird looking antenna. I'm assuming that's prototypical. It looks like a product of alien technology. So obviously a C unit. Got our freestanding side rails here leading up to the to the cabin. Freestanding grabs on the front. MKT logo on the front. We've got some grabs down there. Our headlight looks like maybe painted on windscreen wipers no cab interior detail we have a body mounted magnetic coupler decent detailing let me see if I can get you guys zoomed in here decent filler hatch Detail on the side here. Missouri, Kansas, Texas looks pretty good. Glazed windows. Portals. I'm assuming this right here is a sand filler hatch, although I'm not sure. Chime in if you know. You can tell that this is not brand new due to the wear marks on the wheels. They look pretty clean. Pretty neat little grill detail on the underside of the tank. The truck detail is good. We've got brake hoses. So yeah, Broadway Limited has never had an issue with lack of detail on their models. 
So what do you guys say we get this thing over on a test track and find out what it does and what it doesn't do? Hopefully it just does. I'll see you over there. All right, we are on the disgusting workbench test track segment. Got our NCE power cab doing DCC duty. We've got number three entered into our controller, which should be the default. As you can see, we've already got lights on the number boards here. Let's try for a headlight. No headlight. Let's try bell. No horn. No nothing. Let's try a F9 prime mover startup. This stuff should work without prime mover active, but sounds may be muted. Interesting. I hit F9. There's our headlight. Come on, babies, roll over for me. There she is. There's our bell. And now our headlights back on and off. Let's see if she'll move for us. All right, let's change direction. And that was at the very first speed step, so apparently the speed tables are programmed that way, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's bring her back up into the foreground here. Neat. I guess when the engine is shut down, everything is shut down except for the number boards. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps this up, guys. It uh, it runs. It uh, it should. It's for intents and purposes should run and function like a new one does. And I think it does. If I were going to run this, I would probably adjust the speed steps and the speed tables to be a little bit slower on the crawl on the first couple of speed steps and make it far more I want to say linear because this was just at like one two three and four out of 128 so I usually like things to really crawl down low but that's neither here nor there that can be adjusted with CVs or something like that so it was a pretty good purchase i'm happy with it i have always thought that broadway limited has made good stuff i know some people have not had the same experience especially as it pertains to dcc stuff 
I am looking forward to possibly getting a hold of one of their new stealth line, which is coming DC or DCC ready rather. So you can bring your own encoder like a Loke sound or a, or a tsunami or whatever you want to use, which I think for them is a very good idea given the opinions of their stuff in the market. So I've never seen any real big complaints about the quality of their models. As you can see, there's a lot of detail here, especially with grab irons and stuff like that for a very good price. Uh, the only complaints I ever really hear about Broadway Limited stuff is their decoders crapping out. I've not had that happen to me yet, but I am probably just lucky and each locomotive I have is a sample size of one of that particular line. So take with that what you will. And we are going to stop this one here. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I need to come up with something better. I need to get one of those, those panels, those like white light LED panels that you can put up on a, on a high armature and, and light the whole thing with. I'm working on that. I do want to announce that we've got channel memberships available now. There are some perks available for different tiers of membership. If you guys are interested in that, I would appreciate it. The The content will, uh, will only get better the more people we get on board with that. There's also a thanks button. If you don't feel like becoming a monthly member, you can make a one-time donation to the cause. And again, that would be very much appreciated. We don't have any members yet, but, you know, it'll happen eventually, I hope. So, with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Pretty good purchase. Like I said, get over there, check out their used stuff. I'm assuming, and you know what happens when you do that. So, I would hope that it comes with the same guarantee that a new locomotive does because it's basically certified pre-owned. So get over there, give Broadway Limited some money. If you don't trust their decoders, pick up a DCC ready version. Try that out. Jimmy over at DIY and Digital, I think, has already picked up one of their stealth units and installed a decoder in it. I think he might have used either he used either a TCS or or something. I can't remember what he did, but he took one of their locomotives that was DCC ready, put a decoder in it, and it worked out great. So definitely something worth looking into. And uh, September 30th is coming up, guys, for the Plano, Texas train show. My brother Chris and I are going to be there. We hope to meet some of you guys. If you catch me walking around, I will be in my Goonies t-shirt, so that's how you'll spot me. Um, I'd be happy to connect with y'all. I will be walking around, though. I'm going to be checking out the deals in N-Scale, see what kind of junk I don't need but have to have to pick up more content for the channel here. And, you know, if I see something in Missouri, Kansas, Texas, you know, I can't resist. So I hope to see you all out there. And until then, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.